a new teammate is about to be recruited. Arma is going to be so mad. Well, would she be mad because it's a guy that's getting recruited? Because, you know, Arma probably thinks that the person's here to kind of cuck her and you know, take Noel away. But you never know. Maybe the samurai rules like that. The samurai is a dude from like a fight club thing. He's very strong, but he is a slave right now. We need to free him. We're basically kind of just threatening a guy right now that owns him to kind of give him to us. There's also like more um, plot relevant stuff. What happened two episodes ago, right? There's like a different mafia family that was involved with those two parents that we basically killed. And there's like the debt that they couldn't pay for or something, right? The whole drug uh, distribution that's, you know, making this place go really bad. I think maybe there is like an association with that with the same mafia family. But hey, let's begin today's reaction. We can take a samurai guy. Exactly. End them. He's so powerful. Dead? Nope. That's kind of merciful of you. What's the plan? Maybe he wants him to do it for himself. To make Koga actually kill him? <laughs> He's so edgy. I love how he literally let that guy go away. So that the samurai guy can figure out how to like, you know, kill his master and you know, get away. We need a fierce wolf, not a weak-minded loser. So edgy. Not sure, we have a new elf girl too. なんで<笑> Huh. I guess if he told her, Arma would get really, really upset and jealous. It's better to keep it a quiet secret for now. Mm. That's right. Fent is spreading the streets. What? Because it involves us, maybe. Wonder how important this girl is. BFFs. Haven't heard Mabudachi like that since Milim showing up to. Tempest and saying, Rimuru and I are Mabudachi. Uh oh, Turf War is happening. Definitely gonna be trouble. Here's the slave owner guy again. He's like embezzling funds and shit. パパルキアーノが頼まれて。パパルキアーノ。パパルキアーノ。パパルキアーノ。パパルキアーノ。パパルキアーノ。パパルキアーノ。パパルキアーノ。パパルキアーノ。パパルキアーノ。パパルキア
What if, what if the teddy bear that we have for Arma, it's actually one of those stuffed toys? Ham and sauce? I mean, they did call him the most fucking twisted wacko. Never mind. This guy's... What a nutso. That's the scary part. Koga, get out of here. Fight, bro. Pussy? His mind is broken. Okay. Mayor Mint's Village. Have we seen this guy before? We haven't, right? Hold the fuck up. Wait, 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 wait. This is the guy that we gouged out? No, 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 this is the guy from two episodes ago. This is what I'm talking about. In the interesting with the daughter. But the debt we couldn't pay back. And how this relates to the fucking drug dealing shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's gonna happen with him now? It's funny, because our last name is Stolen, but it sounds like we stole it. I hate how he's playing the victim role right now, but like... Did we keep the wife and daughter hostage? Yeah. I mean, we definitely did Galaxy right eye. Professional victim. <laughs> Professional victim. Oh, shit. We start in drama. We'll see about that. Okay. <笑>あの、<笑><笑> He just continues to fucking suffer and I love it. Yeah, take his item. Let's go. Let's go. Take it. Man, even like his own mafia men are like, man, I feel kind of bad. This is, this is fucked up. Koga, do it. Aw, oh, man. If you're going to force Koga to do this, I feel like he won't. Because, you know, I I, 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 I just feels like if he did this, it just wouldn't be a very good look for him if he's going to join our team. Now, he's a piece of shit, and I hope that he will do it. But, uh, I feel like he's going to get bailed out right now. I mean, I want to see it happen. Will they follow through? <laughs> what a high it must be. Holy shit. Rule number one, whenever you're distributing goods like this, never eat your own supply. You got to keep that shit clean, bro. You're going to get lost in the sauce. Bro is geeking out. He's going to cut the arm with a stick, huh? It's already happened. Wow, I thought that maybe Koga was going to have a moment of like, no, I can't cut his arm off and figure out something for himself and run away. Or, but like, no, he did it with the wooden fucking walking cane. <laughs> off screen. <laughs> Clean though. <laughs> yep. Rayos, I think, is not really into it. Other than Don Albert, everyone else in this room, his henchmen, they're like, this is fucked up. That makes it even more difficult. The ownership transform. And if we want to get him, he needs to, you know, slay his own mess. That means that we need to defeat this mafia mob guy. Huh, okay. That means Koga will one day cut off Don Albert and join Noel? Ah, okay. You getting a nice look there, Laios? Yeah? Yeah? Is that your body type? 
I uh, yeah, I, I think you're he's really enjoying it. Look at the look he's doing. He's like, rip for me. Nice. ハハは美しい人じゃったという恵まれた生活とつとの存んだものは。ハートのランジェビリティ。ドキツキシマケにアトトリオ。ゴーチ。ゴーチ。ゴーチ。ゴーチ。ゴーチ。ゴーチ。
That's the face of a man that just like heard of all this backstory and feels bad for Koga. I feel like Rylos could be a definitely a good man. Just looking at his eyes, he seems like a really good person. He's like, damn, bro, that flashback's fucked up. You just watched that with us. Shit, my boy, I'm gonna try to help you out the best I can. Now, like, I'm, real I'm realizing that, like, it's not just Koga. Our Arma had a really messed up backstory, too. This show, <laughs> like, the character backstories, they are fucked, but in a good way. Like, it's twisted, but the depth of that twistedness just creates such a compelling backstory due to the tragedies. Oh. New drip. It's our informant guy who changes faces. Mm. They coming for us because we shit talk them. Yep. Bakabakashi. Kusurino Kentoi. Plot twist, a little bit similar with Koga being a bastard. Oh. This is a setup? Did we get set up? Loki, did you just set us up? Did Loki actually just set us up? Why is Koga here? A coincidence? Yeah, what the fuck? You just said we're your best customer. Like, we're such a good customer that you're, you're doing a little extra service. You set us up? That's pretty short-sighted, man. Uh, nah, I feel like there's times when, you know, who knows how much of a shitty situation he was in, but like, I feel like Noah's gonna solve this. And you're gonna regret this, Loki. I'm the main character. I can just kill you too. <laughs> True. I can just shoot you here now too. Here's the one thing you forgot, motherfucker. I have a gun. The old gun trick. He just pulls that shit out. What are you gonna do? What? I sold myself out. I deserve to die. Nah, don't kill him. Don't kill him. He made a mistake. Wow. <laughs> you know, usually Noel just whoever they cross, like wh whoever does him dirty, he'll fucking take you out, right? You do something shitty to us, we'll do even something shittier, but he took the high road there. In a declaration of war against the Gambino family. Once we do this, I bet like our clout, right? The whole plan was to create this clan and to have such a high reputation. And the goal is to become those like, it's like the equivalent of like the three star Michelin clans, right? There's like a bunch of star system. <laughs> and there's like top ranks and you can get like a spaceship if you're top there. If we took out the Gambino family, yeah, probably we'll get on there, right? Get out of here, Loki. Okay, we're buffing. Can we really fight this guy 1v1? Maybe we should run. Yeah, it's him. Congrats. I guess he's in a better position, yeah. He's just gonna cut the bullets. Oh, hey! Take that fucking coin. Just look how we let Loki go? Like, I wonder if he has a shot collar still. Here we go. He did. No, he's just honorable. I think that he just feels sad and sorry, so he's just kind of giving him like this isn't really much of a handicap, but still honorable. I'm a talker. I talk. Wow. Oh, we have a little gadget thing. 
he told you. Elemental bullets as well. Can he cut the fire? He can flash it though. Okay, creating a vacuum by cutting the air is fucking crazy, but creating a vacuum through Beyblade is something that's been happening a lot during those Beyblade reactions, so I can totally agree with this. Really? We can keep up with the dagger? <laughs> wait, 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 did he actually go for his dick there? It's pretty low. Yeah, he did go for the kill. And not just the kill, kill for the future generations too. <laughs> this is a fight to the death. Uh -huh. Got him. <laughs> What the fuck was that? I thought he cut space and time for a second, but it's just like existing blades that just like goes attack us aerials. Yeah. It's not the same as Berkeley in SAO, right? Where he does a bunch of cuts. And just like delay, delay, then he can activate it. But it, it's kind of similar, right? You cut, you kind of wait, and it can just kind of shoo shoo, go whatever you want. He's fighting blind. Eyes closed. He can cut our voice command too. All right. Too strong. Cliffhanger. And that's the episode of Talker today. And... Man, that backstory got so dark all of a sudden. Like, it was like comical of how fast she was like, Oh, one day, you know, I want to have like a kid and, you know, bless us the child. Boom, bandits show up and monkey's paw where you wish for something, but it just happens in the worst way imaginable. And the more tragic thing is that you never know. The kid actually could have been the death despite the grape scene happening. And the dad obviously just can't bear it. The mom offs herself. It's just so sad. Koga's backstory, I think, is definitely worse than Arma. Arma's backstory is sad too, but Koga's, oh man, like we're doing like the Olympics of who can, who can do like the most like sad and pitiful like backstories. Um, the plot point of the old man that tried to scam us has connected. So yes, you know, the we probably shouldn't have let him live, but because we did, now he's here and just spreading all this shit. But I think it's a good catalyst. Now that the Gambino family is after our ass because they just believed whatever he said, it does create an opportunity for us to like defeat the Gambino family. And if we do, I think it aligns with their goals to be a very strong clan, a clan that can like, you know, get one of those spaceships too. But we gotta be Koga right now, man. And like a talker is very weak in 1v1s. It's actually really impressive that he can like fight for a bit with this dagger, even going for his nutsack. But like, we can't win this. I don't know. Maybe there's ways to do more underhanded things because he's all about pride and honor. Maybe Arma will show up and save us, but not looking too good. And a cliffhanger. That's it for me. If you're still here though, and if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for even more content. And until next time, take care.